Hey guys, what's up? It's Dane at Zim's Guitars. I'm in Mesa, Arizona. Buy, sell, and trade. And this thing just got traded in. It's a little Fernandez bass. It's super fun. Come inside. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, so one of the best things and the funnest thing about my job and having a used guitar shop is you get trade-ins. This is a Made in Japan Fernandez, and in America they call this thing the Nomad. Over in Japan, it's called the Piso because it has one Piso pickup. It's got the speaker right here. Uh, the battery's dead in this one, so... Let's take it into the back room, put it on the bench. We'll throw a new battery in it, and uh, I'll play this thing for a little while. But yeah, this thing is super fun. It makes my life a lot of fun to be down here at the guitar shop when this kind of stuff walks in. So here we go. Let's go change the battery. Okay, so this is the on-off switch right here. And um, it turns it on. You got one volume. It's pretty faint right now. I accidentally left the uh, switch on all night last night. So I'm pretty sure it needs a battery. But um, it really, uh, again man, I keep telling people, my job, I just love it when cool stuff like this gets traded in. So, should be nice, quick and easy to put a battery in this thing. Let's take a look here. This one comes right out. We'll test the old battery while it's setting here. Go up here to DC current. Let's see what it's looking like right here. Well, it says 8.3, so it's not, it's not completely dead. But since we got it out of here anyhow, we'll put a new one in there. Now I have seen, um, did a little bit of research on these, and again, like I said, they were made in Japan, and they were also sold, you know, in the States, and in the States they called it a Nomad, a Fernandez Nomad Traveler Base. But in Japan they call it a Piso, because there is the Piso system. You got the maple neck here. Yeah, so looking at the tuners on the back here, it's kind of neat how they angled them like that. But they say made in Japan, Goto, on there. So it is a quality made in Japan instrument. Fernandez Electric Sound Research Group. It's got a very unique headstock shape. And it looks like a plastic nut right there. The frets seem like they're in good shape. It's got a rosewood fingerboard. And it's got a little bit of scratches, but right here you can see the speaker. And it's kind of neat how it has this section. You can kind of leave your thumb on there. But it just makes for a really fun little bass guitar just to practice with. And the pickup is in here, it's a piezo system. I think if you tap on that, yeah. So, no volume control or anything. Unfortunately, it does have a couple of scratches back here on the back. Go ahead and I'll tune this thing. Let's see, so it's down to D. We'll leave it in D. We'll leave it a half step down. To me, it kind of sounds like McCartney's bass. It's got that little... Um, high mid kind of uh, thump to it and, and real clarity.
And as far as tuning it, a little tiny bit goes a long way. This thing's tons of fun. All right, so I went ahead and I plugged this thing into an amplifier. I got a big um, Galleon Kruger, a DK amp over here. And I went ahead and turned it off right here, so. Fernandez Nomad Bass made in Japan. In Japan, they just called it the Piso. It's got a little rosewood bridge right here with the Piso pickup in it. And so, tons of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everybody, have a great day. Mm -hmm.